Good morning! I'm using this new app to record my discussion. Today, I'm going to discuss GMO. Are you familiar about it? Genetically modified products. Have you noticed before like farmers, they cut one stem of a certain plant and attaching it to another stem to create a better variety? Or dogs, different dogs, try to create a new and beautiful breed? That is a classic example of GMO. Okay, so today's objectives is to identify and evaluate the ethics and implications of genetically modified organisms and its potential future impacts on human health and society. So we will discuss first what is life hundreds of years ago before GMO was realized and invented? This is banana before. There are hundreds types of banana or variety of banana, but due to geographic location and climate, not all of them could feed and sustain the entire population. This is watermelon. Not all watermelon can be eaten. Mm. Carrots. Yes. You've noticed when you say native na gulay, di ba mas maliliit, medyo hindi sila ganun kasa- masarap, kesa sa imported and well breed na gulay. Same thing. This is corn before. They're not even edible. This is eggplant. Eggplant, hundreds of years ago, are small, rounded, and white. That's why it's called eggplant. Tomato. Hundreds of years ago, tomato is not edible. And then it was actually considered as medicine rather than a food. Before it was cultivated. Okay, review questions. This is also part of your quiz. What are GMOs? Can we survive without it? Why? Are you in favor of GMO products? Why or why not? Okay, so let's proceed. So GMO are any organisms whose genetic material has been altered or changed using genetic engineering techniques. I've sent you a link about this, the video link. Now, I'll discuss to you the positive and negative effects of GMO. So, positive effects. First, crops taste better. Dahil maganda na yung variety niya, yung kamatis mas plumpier, juicier. Iba-iba na yung kulay ng corn and sizes niya rin. One thing you know that it's a GMO product is pare-pareho yung sizes nila. Magkakamukha silang lahat. GMO products yun. And due to this one, all of us are being fed well and happily and nutritiously. I-compare nyo yung native na bayabas sa imported na bayabas. Di ba yung imported na bayabas mas tastier, crunchier, mas juicy, mas makapal yung pulp kaysa sa mga seeds. Tsaka matamis siya. Eh, yung native, matigas, napaka-green, <laughs> puro buto, pero yun, akit pa rin natin. Yeah, so, it's way better. And since it's bigger, mas nutritious din siya. Yung lemon, mas marami siyang vitamin C. Yung corn, mas marami siyang carbohydrates. Yung mga, yung chicken, yung meat, more on protein sila. It makes us healthier. And it is pest resilient. In the past, we spray chemicals and pesticides to our plants and crops and also animals so that uh, to make it resilient to them. Pero nakakain natin yun. It's e dangerous. What if we created a variety of an eggplant that all the worms that eat the eggplant will die? Are we also gonna die? No, because there are some things that animal can consume that they will die and we won't. 
Example, chocolates. If you give the dogs chocolate, they'll die. Yes, don't give chocolates to your dog. They cannot digest sugar. <laughs> I remember, I have a friend. Pinapainom niya ng coke yung aso niya. Namatay. Social na dog. <laughs> Same thing with example with this worm. They cannot digest too much fat. E yung tao, we can consume fat. That's why we're omnivores. We can eat both meat and plants. We have an internal organs that could digest fat. So, nag-create ng variety ng talong or ng corn na mas higher in fat content na kung ikukonsume siya ng uh, uh, animals or insect, mamamatay sila. Pero tayo, okay lang. Okay? And then, farmers can grow and harvest more plants. Dati, once in a year or once in two years lang sila makaka-harvest. Pero ngayon, dahil magaganda na yung variety ng tanim, mas makaka-harvest sila in a shorter time. Yung corn, or example, yung palay, dati ang tataas ng palay. Pero yung mga magagandang variety na ngayon, mas maiikli na sila. Kasi yung, mga, yung nutrients na nakukuha ng plant, diretso na sa grains nila, hindi na sa leaves at saka stalks. So, It's really, really good for farmers. Farmers love GMO products. Yes, and as maraming food, mas nasusolusyonan ang world hunger and food supply. Okay, not only to plants but also to animals. So, it is higher resistant to disease. Hi, Pinky! Pork and chicken and cow are usually genetically modified. Sinong mahilig sa Jollibee, KFC, Crunch Chicken, and all the chicken in the groceries, they're all genetically modified, including the pork. Di ba sa grocery, magkakapareho yung sizes ng chicken? Mm-hmm. Tapos, ang lalambot nila, ma- makakagat mo yung buto. Uh, mga 15-20 minutes lang, luto na siya. Yung chicken. E yung native na manok. Kahit dalawang oras mo pakuluan, native na manok na pala. <laughs> Same thing lang. Pero ang chicken, mga 30 to 50 days, maka-harvest mo na sila, slaughterhouse sila. Yung pig, 3 to 6 months. Yung lifespan nila, makukonsume na natin sila. And also, for cows, they're used for their meat, their milk. Okay. Uh... Controversies over GMO product. Yeah, hell no, GMO. Yeah. OMG. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of controversies about it. Okay. So, sino may allergies dyan sa manok, peanuts, soy products, milk products? So, one out of nine children in America do have allergies because most of the products that they consume are GMO products and they are very high in aller, uh, uh, antibiotic and carcinogenic properties. Carcinogenic properties are cancer properties. Okay. Companies use GMO to control power. In the Philippines, we have Del Monte sa mga taga Mindanao, Bukid Noon, am I right? Cagayan. Uh, We do have Del Monte Plantation. All of their plantations, their, all of their products are GMO. The, the pineapple, it's bigger, it's juicier. Their tomatoes, the pang spaghetti na sauce, lahat yun, GMO products. And Nestle products, I'm so sorry to say that. All of them are GMO. Coffee made. Bear brand, Nido, Nestle Milk, uh, Sterilize, they are, uh, the cows used to, for this milk are GMO. Uh, then the Nescafe, 3-in-1. I'm sorry guys, yung seeds niya. Di ba, commercial, shiny, and they're pest resilient. 
jemo sha yung nido yung mouth ng nido um uh, nasla yung dahon niya di ba dahon ng ng team and then kit kat and chucky yung cocoa beans magic setup why yes all in uh yung chicken or any meat used in magic sarap para maka-create ng broth. Okay. Pati na yung more cubes are GMO para mas makaproduce sila ng tastier broth. And once, uh, all of this one. Sorry guys, we are living in the world where someone is controlling us. The food that we eat and in the internet. Pepsi and Coca-Cola, the sugar, And the leaves used that one are genetically modified carnation, the milk, lace, yung patatas, hints, tomato, ketchup, yung kamatis nila, Cadbury, yung cocoa beans, Kraft cheese, yes, the cow, Pringles, pati yung Mr. Clean's, uh, Mr. Clean, healthy choice, uh, healthy choices, mm-hmm. uh, then Hershey's. Meron pa dito morning star, yung mga box juice, pati yung Quaker Oats, pati yung Tide, Pampers, ma'am, bakit? Kasi yung fiber or yung pulp ng Pampers and all sanitary napkins are GMO plant. Tropicana, yung juice ng Tropicana, ay yung juice yung orange, Gatorade, yes, uh, PNG in Procter and Gamble and Unilever's. Yes. Uh, best food, mayonnaise. Yung eggs niya is genetically modified. And yes, Philip Morris. Ma'am, bakit? Kasi yung tobacco leaves ng Philip Morris uh, is bigger and uh, pest resilient. So GMO production. As what I discussed a while ago, it's dangerous to some plants. And yeah, they control farming also. See, you've noticed like this. It says that, or it labels that these products here are genetically modified. They're like clones. Pare-pareho sila ng sizes and shapes. Pati rin yung bunga nila. Okay. Next one here is Monsanto Company. This is the leading American agrochemical and agricultural biotechnology uh, corporation. That really... Push through GMO crops in 1987. So, ma'am, how do we identify what are the products that are GMO? Okay, so if you go to groceries or yung mga imported na products, you check yung mga stickers nila or yung packaging. Kapag nagsa-start sa number 3 or number 4 and it's 4-digit code, meaning it's conventionally, conventionally grow. May spray. So, hugasan ng mabuti or itapon yung balat. Pag 5-digit code starting with 9, then that's organic and a little bit pricey. Ito, yung common is starts with letter A and, and number 8 and 5-digit code and that's genetically modified. So, ma'am, and paano namin makaka... Uh, how can we avoid GMO products in our... In our little basic way. Tip. Pag nasa palengke kayo, hanapin nyo yung mga matatanda, yung mga nasa gilid, sa bangketa, nagtitinda. Yung sako lang yung pinaglalagyan nila ng products. Nila. Tingnan nyo yung okra, di ba? yung kamatis nila, yung talong, puso ng saging, ang palaya. Di ba? Mag- i- ang iikli. I mean, diff- it varies in sizes. May maikli, may... Malalaki, di ba? Yung talong medyo curly, gano'n. Kasi native yun. Mas organic yun. Organic products are naturally varied in sizes. Hindi sila magkakamuka. So, mas, yun yung bilhin nyo. And, yeah, you help them too. Okja, I sent uh, a link about this. Last year, nagpa movie viewing ako ng Okja kasi si Okja is genetically modified pig. Crossbreed siya ng pig at saka ng hippopotamus. Hanapin nyo na lang sa Netflix. Okay. And thank you everyone. If you have any questions, you can really contact me and you know that I do reply. Bye!